No more guesswork. Mastering implied antecedents in English. Hello learners. Welcome to another exciting English language lesson. Today, we are going to delve into the world of pronouns and antecedents, specifically focusing on a common issue that can make our writing unclear. Implied antecedents. Our goal is to help you identify and correct these errors to make your English communication even more precise and understandable. First things first, let's clarify what we mean by pronouns and antecedents. A pronoun is a word that takes the place of a noun, while an antecedent is the noun that the pronoun refers to. Here is a simple example. In the sentence, John is reading his book, John is the antecedent and his is the pronoun that refers to John. The connection between the pronoun and its antecedent must always be clear in our writing. Without this clarity, our readers may be left guessing who or what we are talking about, and we don't want that. Moving on to the main topic of the day, implied antecedents. This term refers to situations where the pronoun's reference isn't directly stated, but instead, it's implied or suggested by other elements in the context. Let's look at an example. Consider the sentence, while driving, it started to rain. Here, it is a pronoun, but what does it refer to? There's no clear antecedent in the sentence. The reader can guess that it probably refers to the weather, but it's not specified. This is an implied antecedent, and it's a kind of vague pronoun reference that we should avoid. So, how can we fix these vague pronoun references? The most effective way is to replace the pronoun with a clear, concrete noun, its intended antecedent. Let's correct our previous example. Instead of saying, while driving, it started to rain, we could say, while driving, the weather turned rainy. Now it's clear that the weather is what changed. Remember, our goal is to eliminate any guesswork for our reader. Whenever possible, make sure to replace vague pronouns with their intended, clear antecedents. And that wraps up our lesson on avoiding implied antecedents. By being aware of this common pitfall and knowing how to correct it, you'll make your English writing and speech much more clear and effective. As always, the key is practice, so try to apply these tips in your daily English usage. We hope this video has been enlightening. Stay tuned for more lessons that will help you master the English language. Happy learning!